another question. He said only the only the Jude, He said only Judah went into captivity. Yeah, what he said. Only Judah went into captivity. What's up, sis? You got any more questions? Hold on, real quick, real quick. She good? So right, she good? She good? Okay, all praise the Lord. All right. What's up? Okay, you said only the tribe of Judah went into captivity. The last captivity. The last captivity. Where, 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 where are you drawing that from? Now, we got to stay on topic here. Are you saying that only Judah went into captivity? Oh, hold on, now that's a good question. First question was supposed to be something different. We can deal with all your questions. All right, all right. Okay, are you abandoning your first question? Okay. Hold on, are you an Israelite? Hold on, are you an Israelite? No, I'm asking you, are you an Israelite? Who am I? Now you play a game. You said these other people, right? What other people? What other people? Okay, what other people? No, you're not gonna get the mic. What other people? You got all these people here playing this hard game, Israelite. Uh-huh. What what other people? Show me where. Hold on, but what other people? Alright, you got American black. Uh-huh. That's us. That's Indian black. Who are you asking about? They're the same people, right? But I'm asking about Okay. Okay, so how are black people in your life? Hold on, no, I'm asking you how are black people in your life? How are black people in your life? Okay, so you said American blacks, right? So, oh, okay, yeah, so you have no problem saying that those people are in your life. I'm asking, I'm going to, I'm asking. Listen, listen, I want to I make sure your, your question is concise. Because you said all these other people. What do you mean other people? Clearly, these people here, yeah, yeah. Let's go down the list. Okay. Yeah. West Indian blacks, that's the same as the American blacks. You have the Haitians, they're the same as the American blacks. Oh, okay, so. They're okay. all the tribe so, of Judah. So, okay, so, so the they're other people. The tribe of Judah. First of all, hold on, brother. You're not making sense here. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make sure we're following a linear logic. No, 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 no. We have to make sense here. You're just talking. Brother, who are these other people? Who are the other people? The other people you have on the list. Which uh, are who? Uh, Cubans in general. Okay, so those are the other people. In general, uh -huh. you have Dominicans in general. Okay, oh, you're talking about Latinos. You have, oh, you're talking about Latinos. Oh, you have Guatemalans. Okay, Canada. brother, brother, let, let's summarize this. You're talking about Latinos. Oh, we know they're black Cubans. We know they're black Dominicans. Oh, so oh, okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going by your chart. Oh, okay, okay. So how do we know How do we know black people are Israelites? I'm going by the chart. Okay, hold on. How do you know that black people are Israelites? You learn how. Let's prove it. Prove it. No, no, no. I'm asking you to prove that you're an Israelite. Prove that you know that black people are Israelite. Prove it. You, you can start wherever you like, brother. Just start. Where we, we come from the lineage of Shim, yes. Uh -huh. What do you mean, who am I with? What's my lineage from the tribe of Levi? Of course. Yes, certainly. I'm two order. But I need you to prove that you're an Israelite, please. Prove that black people are Israelite for me. I need, I need it. I need to prove it. Oh, well, you know about something else up here. No, but listen, why don't you prove it? Prove it on your own. You learn, right? You said you learn. Prove it. I know because I, I've read it. I've read what, like that? I know about Deuteronomy. What scripture? You know about Deuteronomy, right? Deuteronomy 28. Okay, so name me one thing in Deuteronomy 28, 15 to 68, that Latinos and Native Americans did not experience. Did they go into slavery on ships? Who was the first person to go into slavery on ships in the transatlantic slave trade? Who's the first person to do that? Hold on, brother, brother, hold on. Hold on, hold on, don't, no, listen, hold on. Brother, hold on, 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 he didn't come out here with a microphone though, did he? So that's his fault, that's his fault. Right. All that's fine, all that's fine, he's fine. What tribe are you from? What tribe are you from, brother? What tribe are you from? I'm from a tribe in the northeastern of Nigeria that are over 200,000 people that are not Yoruba, Igbo, or Hausa. I know. And literally, no, you don't know. I know about tribes in Nigeria. No, I'll educate, no, okay. I don't know about tribes in Nigeria. let me ask you. I don't know about tribes in Nigeria. Literally, how many tribes are in Nigeria? Probably hundreds. No. Listen, listen, hey brother, what's your name of your tribe? Y'all claim that, no, 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 no,
tribe? Ne what's the name of your tribe? What's the name of your tribe? Tongali. Never heard of the Tongali. Okay. So let me educate you. Oh, no, no, you ain't gotta educate me. I was having a conversation with you. You were educating him. I want to educate you. Listen, listen, listen. we can talk in a minute, but we have to do everything okay. decently so in order. Right there, we have to do it. No, 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 no. We're gonna stay on topic, right? right. So no, first of all, I was in the middle of proving something right. to you when this right. man put right. in, right? No, 1492. I'm talking. Hold on, I'm talking. Thank you. 1492. The first people that were ever took our slave ship were Thai Eno Indians. That was the beginning of the transatlantic slave trade. Then no, that's the beginning. Of that. That's a historical fact. Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. This, this proving. This proving. Oh, go into the Columbus. journal of Christopher Columbus. Go into the journals of Christopher Columbus. Psalm 119 and 104. First off, show me, show me, show me 1619. Show me 1619 in the Bible. Can you show me 1619 in the Bible? Can you show me 1619 in the Bible? Can you show me Jamestown, Virginia in the Bible? Brother, I just asked you a question. Can you show me Jamestown, Virginia in the Bible? Can you show it to me? Brother, can you show me Jamestown, Virginia in the Bible? Can you show me Jamestown, Virginia in the Bible? Listen to this. You'll listen to him and you'll respond to him. But you came up asking us questions, you won't respond to me, right? Can you show me Jamestown 1619 in the Bible? What I'm saying is I'm talking. What I'm saying is I'm talking, bro. You're talking on the louder voice than I know, I know, I know. I know. That's us, bro. If y'all want to have a conversation, go ahead, man. That's confusion. Nothing but total confusion up here. Give me a, a, a the Lord is not the author of confusion, right? Because it's just confusion. You want to generate about questions and come with confusion, that's nonsense. You want to have an educated conversation? We can have that all day, because we ain't going to call our people to repent. What's going on? Y'all got a question y'all been listening? Y'all got any questions? No? 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 Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Nobody said that. You're a liar, right? Y'all don't have any questions? All right. Do y'all know y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in the Bible or y'all Christian? Right? Y'all go to church on Sundays? You want to say you seven day Adventist? Okay, what about y'all? When you when you feel like going, right? Let me show you something. Somebody give me season boards here real quick. Give me season, give me season boards. Let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question real quick. Let me ask y'all a question. Is this Jesus? This be up in y'all churches? Right? So y'all know about this already. What's Jesus look like? He's black, beautiful, y'all understand that, right? But it, what nationality was Jesus? He was a Jew, right? He was an Israelite, right? So if he's black and you're black, what that make you? An Israelite, y'all know that already? Okay, okay, I'll get you to the point. I didn't know if y'all knew that. But I see y'all out here having a good old time, man. But when y'all gonna start repenting? Congregating, keeping the laws, etc. When are y'all gonna start doing that? Right. Today, all praise to the most high. Give these sisters a hand, man. Give these sisters a hand. Give these sisters a hand. All praise to the most high, man. Somebody give these sisters a flyer. Where the flyers at? Flyers at? Make sure they get the flyers. Get them the flyers, please, man. They need to be coming to the school before you know All praise to the most high. Because that's what we're here to do. People want to come with confusion. We're not out here for confusion. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and the 49, and, and, uh, the 49th chapter. I mean, the 49th verse, rather. Because people want to sit here and gain say, my thing is so-called black man, you're an Israelite, and just as much as you're an Israelite, the so-called Latino and Native American man is an Israelite. Because there ain't nothing that we done been through that they ain't been through. They went on slavery and ships starting in 1492, all right? A lot of us just don't know the history. You don't know about the Native American Indian and the Latino man going on cargo slave ships. You don't know about a system called Incomiana that was implemented in Latin America, right? You don't know about the fact that Native Americans were working side by side on some plantations with so-called black men in slavery by the same devil, right? But you ain't done no study, right? So you're asking these questions, that's why I asked the brother, what, how do you prove that you're Israelite? Because the same way you're gonna prove it is the same way they can prove it, right? Ain't no, you can't separate one without the other. The black and Hispanic man, we've been marginalized together. We've been in the hills of North, Central, and South America together for the last five, 500 years, we're stuck together, there's no separating us, we just gotta get our minds right and come back to the laws of God. So somebody read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From far, man. Spain is far away from America, right? But the Spanish came to America. What the Spanish do when they came to America? Read. From the end of the earth. From the whole other end of the earth, right? Read on. And swift as the eagle flies. And when the Spaniard came, they came with a flag. And what was on top of that flag was an eagle, right? That's what it means, as swift as the eagle flies. Read on. A nation whose 
that should not understand. When the indigenous Taino Indian, when the Seminole Indian indigenous to Florida, right? When the when the Carib Indian, when the Arawak Indian was encountered, when the Mayan, when the Aztec was encountered by the man of Spain, the Spaniard man, y'all didn't speak no Spanish then. That was a language that you did not know at that time. Free Lord. A nation of what? A fierce continent! Read on! We should not be going to prison of the earth! Read on! No shirt, baby! To the young! So when they came, there was no respect shown to the old and the young. They relentlessly murdered young indigenous children, old indigenous people, right? That's what the Spaniard did, right? When the Spaniard came to the Americas, what did he do? He raped, he robbed, he murdered, right or wrong? Right, what's your nationality, brother? Colombia, right? What happened when the Espana came to Colombia? He took all your stuff, you see that? That's right in the Bible, right? It's prophecy that that would happen, and that would happen to the Israelites. Because the men of Colombia, all the Latinos, he, uh, the Mayanos, we are the Israelites of the Bible. Bro. That's what we need to come back to, right? Read that. Uh huh. And they should be as continent. Read on. We should not bring the person of the earth. Uh huh. They shall bring it to the young. Go ahead. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. And he what? And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. Ain't that what that brother just said? He took all our stuff. And what he said? He said he shall eat the fruit of your cattle. Read on. And the fruit of thy land. Read on. Until thou be destroyed. Until thou be destroyed. Now you go to the islands, when you go to South America, our people are absolutely destroyed out there. Why are our people destroyed? Because somebody came and took all our stuff. What's going on, sister? I see you listening. You got a question? What's your nationality, sister? You from here? Huh? Where, where does your family go back to? Colombia, just like him, right? So you agree with him? The Spaniard came and robbed Colombia, right or wrong? See? This is how we know what the Israelites, right? Read verse 15 for me real quick, all right? Yeah, verse 15. Uh -huh. Chapter 28, verse 15. Read on. But it shall come to pass. Uh -huh. And thou would not break it unto the point of the Lord thy God. If you didn't listen to God, right? Read. To a point. Uh -huh. God said if we didn't listen to him to keep all his laws, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I commanded thee this day, Lord, that all these cases uh -huh. shall come upon thee. And these cases shall come upon us. So what happened to us was a result of our disobedience. The Most High God allowed these people to get over on us as a result of our disobedience. So what's the solution? Like a brother came out earlier talking about what's the solution. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with ships. Again with what? With ships. Are you with the Lord? Are you listening, brother? Read it again. I know that much. I'm just, 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 I'm That's the solution to solve all the problems amongst blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. It's very simple. All they die. That's what he requires of us. He requires us to listen to him and to follow his instructions. And if we would do that, that would be the solution. That would get us out of the rut with him. That would stop us from killing each other. That would stop us from robbing each other. That would fix all the issues that we got in our community if, if we simply follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. You got Negroes out here talking about, I'm sick of y'all talking, I'm sick of y'all preaching, I want to see action. Nigga, get out of here. You don't want to see no action. Any nigga that drink weed, he's not ready for no war. Any nigga that smoke weed, he's not ready for no war. Any nigga that smoke cigarettes, he ain't ready for no goddamn war, man. Nigga don't understand the first thing about war, man. When the Most High sent out some political priests out here to teach y'all about war. Right? 
Because we are experts in war. You better go ask the Brit, you better go ask Napoleon who's an expert in war. And we come out here to be the forerunners of, of a revolution in America of the so-called black and Hispanic man. And all we're telling y'all y'all need to do, not go to the gun store and stock up on ammunition, but keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of the most high God. That's the most revolutionary act a so-called black or Hispanic can ever do. Is keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of the most high, man. Right? Give me a Deuteronomy 1 and give me about verse 44. Like around there, talk about the Lord is not going to be with us because we didn't listen. He wasn't going to be with us in war. That's what our people don't understand. Y'all out here drinking lean, getting high, smoking cigarettes, thinking you about to go into war, man. A white man will destroy you. A white man will sit on these damn rooms and pick you off with sniper rifle. You have no idea who you up against, man. You forgot who you're up against. But guess what? If God is on your side, nobody can be against you. And it's one simple way for the Most High God to be on our side, and that's through our obedience to Him. Our pious obedience obedience to the Most High God. That's what he's asking us for. He's asking our, us for our dedication, man. As dedicated as you are to turn it up every weekend, you need to be 10 times more dedicated to serving the Most High God, and that's when we go start seeing change in our community, man. Not a minute sooner. But all a nigga want to do is go to work five days a week just so he can party for two days a week, man. All right? And that's life. That's stupid, man. The Most High God wants so much more for you, but you'll never obtain it if you don't obey Him. If you don't listen to the voice of God, you're not going to obtain what the Lord has intended for you. So read that. I'm about to do the word of the Lord. Verse 42. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, bear the fight. Among you. So God said, don't go fight because I'm not among you. But why isn't he among you? Right? Listen, we spent uh -huh. before your enemies. We don't. So I spent the truth. Uh -huh. And you would not hear. We don't. But you rebelled against the commandments. That's why we rebelled against the commandments. So that's why the Lord's not with us because we're rebelling against the commandments as a people right now. So if you want the most high God to be with you, stop rebelling against his commandments. What's going on, sis? You got a question, sis? Yes, I am. We serve you all. Are you a Hebrew Israelite? Yes, you are. All praise to the Most High. What from? You said what? Judah. All praise to the Most High, man. Don't do too much turning up tonight, all right? You a godly woman, right? Get this fire. These brothers got a school in Fort Lauderdale, man. They want to see you in there. Right? Yes, man. Most certainly. All praise to the Most High, all right? Keep going. Bring that back out from the top, King. The book of the Lord, chapter 1, verse 42. You know what? And the Lord said to me, uh -huh. said to them, I am not among you. Why not? Read on. Let me spend uh -huh. before your enemies. That's right. So I speak unto you, uh -huh. and you would not hear. Read on. But you were against the commandment of the Lord. See that? That's the problem. The Lord is not with us because we're rebelling against the commandment of the Lord. Read on. And with presumptuously, uh -huh. I fell upon you. Uh -huh. I into the hell. All right, read on. And the Amorites, which dwelt in that mountain, uh -huh. came out. Against you, right? And chase you. And what? And chase. And chase you. If you're not with the Lord, we gonna get chased. We gonna lose the fight. Point blank right period. You've seen that commotion brilliance that we tried to do. We lost. Why? Because we were going against the commandments of God. What's good? Y'all been standing here. Any questions on the floor? What's your nationality, my brother? Haitian. All praise to the whole time. What about you? Puerto Rican. Our father's side, Puerto Rican. Both all praise to the whole time. See, y'all know about the. Have y'all heard about the Israelites? Before? Yeah? Okay, so y'all well aware? Okay, so y'all know y'all accept that information, right? So, where, so what tribe are you from? You know? Come on, now y'all read it, all right? Huh? Levi, what about you? You know how to say Ephraim? Ephraim, Ephraim, right? That's it. Those are the tribes. So y'all remember that's your tribe, all right? Go ahead, read. Matter of fact, Salaki, let's go on. Give me a Jeremiah 9. Jeremiah 9, man. You people gotta wake up out here, man. All right, but it's a beautiful thing. You know why? Because some of our people is waking up more and more through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. It's a beautiful thing. We give all thanks and praise and glory unto the Most High for that, man. All right? We give praise to the Most High for that, man. We pray that y'all have, and if y'all that don't listen tonight, we pray y'all have another opportunity for repentance, right? Like, because the Lord's judgment is cold, man. All right? Read that. What's up? Jeremiah 9. Hold on, select it. Start on the select it. Jeremiah 9, 9 is the child. Five, let's go there, five. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 5, Lord. And the 
and they were deceived everyone his neighbor. And they were what? And they were deceived everyone his neighbor. We live in such a cold world that everyone's living a goddamn life. And I, and, and I see a lot of niggas and, and, and females living lives out here. And they live in such a lie. And they're so comfortable with lie. They lie to each other. They backbite each other. Nobody can trust anybody in this day and age. And you know why? It's because of how wicked our people have become. How ungodly this society has become. Right? It's getting us further and further disconnected from the law, statute, commandments of the Most High. And that's why people are out here being as cold as they could be. We don't want Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 5. And they will deceive everyone his neighbor. said they will deceive everyone his neighbor. Everybody out here lying to themselves. Man. What's going on, sister? You got a question? No, you just listen. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? French? French? What about your family? Where is he? Your father, where does he come from? Caribbean, what island? Okay, all praise to the most high. Right? So, how did black people get to Martinique? Huh? But what was the what was the mode of transportation? A boat? What kind was it? A cruise ship going to the or was it another type of boat? You know what was? What type of boat was it? You know what type of boat? Slave ship. Slave ship. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Now, hold on, y'all. Y'all stay put real quick. I got one scripture. Y'all, y'all want to talk about one scripture? I see your face. You got your hands up. You want to go one? I got one. I got time for one. Oh, oh. Let's go. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Uh huh. Chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. Uh-huh. It's said Egypt again, right? You know about the Bible? The Jews, what, what were they doing in Egypt? What were the Jews doing in Egypt? Hold on, I'm gonna deal with that in a second. Moses, the Exodus, right? He brought the Jews out of slavery, right? Now watch this. Moses said you're gonna go back into Egypt, but watch this. Read it. 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 That's crazy, right? Let me get one more. Revelation 11 there. I'll let you go on it. Uh, one more for you. Revelation 11 there. Come here. All right, give me your cover. I'll come right to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come right to you. Go ahead. 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 Which spirit you love us too. And not the oppressor. Which spirit you love us too. Now listen, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. My last one. I got two more words for you. This place is spiritually called what? Sarah. 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 And Egypt. And Egypt, right? So there's a place that the Bible identifies as spiritually like a side of the Egypt, right? So that's why we're going to say we're on ship. Because it's not literally Egypt, it's spiritually Egypt. That's all I want to leave you with just a very special life from the child of Levi, all right? Research that. I know y'all gotta go research that. Alright, I'm gonna get a fly by the way. Hang on, we got pockets. We got pockets. We got pockets. We'll get you some of these. Some of these. What's up, brother? Come on, come on. 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 Come but, but we, we have biblical, we have source documents of the Bible that are centuries older than this council of Nicaea. No, 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 that's not real. Yes, it is. Are the Dead Sea Scrolls real? Are the Dead Sea Scrolls real? Are the, is the Kinnipan of Silver Amulet real? Is the Keeper of the Alpha Inscription real? Is the Samaria Pentateuch real? All that is five to six, seven, a thousand years older than the council of Nicaea. A lot of places existed before that. Uh, uh, but plenty of religion. We ain't talking about religion. We ain't talking about religion. We ain't having a religious so conversation. What happened? No, it's not. So basically what happened? Well, it's they just copied the Prove that. Prove me one thing that was copied from any other pre-existing religion or tradition or national. All of it. Prove it. If all of it, if, uh, if what you're saying is true, all of it does, listen, prove Osiris is in the Bible. Osiris is in the Bible. 
Okay, so what? Hold on. So, show how the Bible, show how the Bible plagiarizes Osiris. Brother, brother, show, demonstrate that. Demonstrate that. I understand that you heard some nigga who thinks he's from Egypt say that, and you believe it just because the nigga said it. But I need you to prove it. You got to demonstrate that. No, you're not. You're the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. That's right. That's why right. 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 you got a Mazitza. Did you get a Mazitza before I know you? Did you get a Mazitza? Did you get a Mazitza before I know you? Did you get a Mazitza before I know you? Listen. Prove it, though, brother. You just believe something because the nigga said it. That's it. I believe something because the nigga said it. Listen, listen. You can't prove it. You can't prove nothing that you said. He just made a lot of claims, but no proof. He just won't prove his point. Honestly, did he prove? Hold on, listen. Listen, listen. Hold on. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Brother, come here. Come here. Come here. Come closer. Come here. Come closer. Come closer. Listen, listen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. No, no, no. I'm talking to you. I'm gonna come right to you. Listen. Listen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on. We got. We got to get to the bottom of this. When is Osiris doing that? Osiris, Osiris. But wait, but wait. But, but, if we, but, if, but, but if the Bible plagiarized from Osiris, why don't we see Osiris doing that? That's one story. What like, story is from Osiris? That's, that's, that's one story. But the reality, Where is Osiris plagiarized from? The reality of it is. The reality of it is. What bird? What bird? The virgin bird is not in the Bible. John 2045. Look at that! I'll show you right now. Look at that! No, it's not. That's Roman Catholicism. I'm going to show you right now. John 2045. Read. The book of John. I'm coming back to you. Read on. The book of John took the word. Listen. Hold on. We're going to read the Bible right now. We're going to read it right now. Read. We're going to read the New Testament right now. Read the Bible. 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 Uh-huh. Right now, watch this. Read the son of Joseph. The son of who? The son of Joseph. The Bible says Joseph is daddy. Ain't no virgin birth. Joe's the daddy. That's right. That's what the Bible say. So ain't no virgin birth. Joseph had sex with Mary. That's where the virgin. That's right. You damn right. You damn right. No, 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 that's what I'm talking about. See, but here's the problem. Christianity has lied to us. It is I, I a lie. Deal, I deal it with the text. Hold on. I deal lie. with the text. I don't deal with the tradition. I deal with the text. The text don't say what's up in that church. Yeah, yeah, so I said, but I said that. But what you're talking about with Egypt, the church stole from Egypt, but the book didn't. That's what I'm saying. Of course he did. That's a thing. That's about six feet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They had about six kids, man. Okay, sister, what's going on? The baby boy's the boy. You gotta get him back in there, man. What's your nationality, sister? Puerto Rican, your, your son, your, your, your child, father, Puerto Rican, all praise to the most high. So y'all know y'all Israelites? Yes, all praise to the most high. Don't worry about it. We're gonna pray, we're gonna pray, we're gonna pray, we're gonna pray, we're gonna bring him back, all right? And we gotta get him up out of that army, man. We gotta get him out of there, man. We gotta get him out of here. All praise to What's going on, sister? You got a question? No questions, y'all just listening. What's your nationality? Different, y'all got different answers? No, y'all just wanna hear y'all. Y'all just wanna hear we out here. We talking to people individually. Matter of fact, you know, I'm gonna come right back to you. Y'all been standing here a little longer. We on y'all, what's up? I have a question. Go ahead, question, go ahead. How's your diet? You said what? How's your diet? How's my diet? Are you eating? I'm not only eating plant-based, no. Why not? Because the Bible says I can eat meat. Who wrote the Bible? Who said that? Many people wrote the Bible. When did the Creator say? The Creator, give me Leviticus 11, starting at 1. I'm going to show you what the Creator said, Leviticus 11 and 1. Oh, hold on. First off, I, I go off the Bible. I don't just make stuff up. I got to go off the scriptures. I can't just, if, if we all just make stuff up, then everybody's going to just do what they want to do. Right? So read that. Leviticus 1 and 11. Let's see what the Creator said. Read. Genesis then. That's 11 and 1. 11 and 1. So like. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 verse 1. And the Lord spoke to Moses uh -huh. and to Aaron. Uh-huh. And said what? Saying to them. Speak unto the children of Israel. Oh, the child of Israel. Read. Say, Ye are the children of Israel. Uh-huh. Speak unto 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 the children of Israel.
These are the beasts which you shall eat. So there are beasts that we can eat. So those beasts that God said I can eat, I'll eat. If I want to eat some chicken, I want some beef, if I want some turkey, I'm going to eat it, brother. See what I'm saying? Because the book said, go ahead and read that. Precept read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 4. Read on. These are the beasts which you shall eat. Read on. The ox. The ox, the sheep, the sheep, and the goat. And the goat. I can eat that. If I want to go and get some fried goat right now, I can go get some. Because the book said I can't. Read on. The heart uh -huh. and the robot. Read on. And the fat of deer. See that? That's what the creator said, brother. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Of course. Well, well, I, I know the creator's real name. Yeah, what's up? Let's my name is right there. Shalom, bro. Good to see y'all, brothers. Been a guy here. Now back on y'all. Back on y'all. Spotlights on y'all. What's your nationality, man? Don't be shy. You see y'all out here. Y'all, come on. Y'all came out here dressed like this. Y'all, man. Y'all shy? Y'all ain't shy. I know y'all ain't shy, right? So what's up? What's your nationality, sister? Jamaican, right? What about you? Jamaican. Y'all both to your father, Jamaican. Okay, so how did black people get to Jamaica? On the boat, right? Yeah, on the slave ship, right? Yeah. Right? Y'all heard this before? Yeah. Y'all heard this before. See, y'all know y'all Israelites? Yeah. Y'all accept that fact. Yeah. When you gonna start living? Yeah. Give me, give me James. Be not here. I got one for you. Hold on. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't Come on. Let, let me, let me get at least one for y'all. I got at least one for y'all. For y'all been listening, right? Let me get one for y'all. Let me know you got it, please. I got one for y'all. All right, go ahead, read on. The book of James, chapter uh -huh. 1, verse 22. Read on. Be doers of the word. Bible say, be doers of the word. Read. And not hearers only. Don't just hear it. Don't just know it. Do it. Do it, y'all. Who got, who got these sisters fly? Y'all got flyers. Y'all got, ain't got purses for nothing. Y'all gonna get these pieces of paper and purchase me. All right? Right next to that iPhone. That dead iPhone, all right? Go ahead, make sure y'all get this in the paper. What are you doing? Come on, man. Y'all ain't gonna take that. It's just cute. Y'all is so cute. Listen, man. Y'all need to repent, all right? Be doers of the word, right? Hey, a, hey, a pocket, huh? In that jacket. Right, where we at? What's going on, y'all? Glad to see you brothers back out here. Man. All praises for the most time. Where we at? Let's go back to Jeremiah. What's up, brother? He with y'all? Brother right here was in the gang attack. He with y'all? What's going on, brother? How long you been listening? A minute? You right here, boom, Yankee Cat, boom. You can listen to this. This guy here, you got any questions? Are you familiar with the information? No? You don't know you never heard of the Israelites before? No? Okay, what's your, uh, your ethnic background on your father's side? Jamaican, okay, all praise to the most high, right? So how did Jamaicans, how did Jamaicans get to Jamaica? Uh, you already know, you already told you. How did Jamaicans get to Jamaica? You don't know? I don't know about, you know, the English coming, snatching y'all out of Ghana, bringing y'all over to Jamaica, right? That's the history, right? So that happened on not part of a cruise ship, right, but a cargo slave ship, right? So I'm going to read that to you in biblical prophecy. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68, you know, and the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt uh -huh. again with ships. Right, so now I said, the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with ships. This is important to know, right? You, are you, you familiar with the Bible? The exit, you know, like the story of Moses. You never heard that before? You said, what's that one more time? I understand that, but here's the thing, right? Like a lion don't need a book to know how to be a lion, right? Okay, I know, I'm with you, but I'm using a metaphor, right? A lion don't need a book to be a lion, right? But if I take a lion that's been in the zoo all his life and I put him in the jungle, is he going to know how to survive? Eventually, right? How much trial and error is he going to have to go through? Probably a considerable amount. Oh, you said what? It's life, right? See, so the, the whole point is this. We've been totally alienated from all the ways of our forefathers, right? We had a way of life, we had standards, we had culture that we've been entirely alienated from, right? So in order, in order to get to the point where we need to be, we need an assist, we have something to give us assistance in that, right? And getting back to the ways of our forefathers. So that's what the book is about. The book is about getting us there, right? But then ultimately, give me a Jeremiah 31 and 31 to show you something, right? Because the goal ultimately is to where 
it's innately within us, and we don't, we ain't read no book, right? And I'm gonna show that to you right now. Jeremiah 31 and 31. Read on. The book of Jeremiah. Uh -huh. Chapter 31, verse 31. Read on. Behold, the days come. Uh huh. Says the Lord. Read on. That I will make a new covenant uh -huh. with the house of Israel. So God said He gonna make a He gonna make a new He gonna make a new covenant with His people, right? Watch this new covenant. Read. And with the house of Judah. Read on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. He said, not like the old one. Read. And the day that I took them by the hand. Read on. To bring them out of the land of Egypt. Uh huh. Go ahead. Which my covenant they praise. We just talked about Egypt, right? Go ahead. Although I was a husband unto them. Read on. Say the most high. Uh huh. But this should be the covenant. This is the new covenant, right? Read. That I'll make with the house of Israel. Uh huh. After the day, said the Lord. Uh huh. Read on. I'll put the law in their inward parts. Said, I'll put the law in their inward parts, right? Read. And write it in their hearts. Uh huh. Read and write it in their hearts. So if, if the book is in your mind and in your heart, or the instructions that are in there, you don't need to read it, right? Because it's in it's your nature, right? Read. I will be their God. Uh huh. And they shall be my people. Read on. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. They shall not teach no more. Every, there shall be not a need to teach nobody. Why? Because it's in us now, right? No need for me to uh, uh, give you some game. Hey, brother, come here. I gotta, I gotta give you some game. Or you to give me some game, right? It's in us already. Read. And every man is brother. Uh -huh, read on. Say, know the Lord. Uh -huh. For they shall all know me. We shall all know, right? So that's the actual goal that we're working towards, right? But that's something that hasn't happened yet. We got people that's out here, like, good and bad is something that's so subjective, right? You got a nigga that's served dope to his mama and say that's good because he gets money from it, right? But to another person might say, man, that's savages, right? But it's too subjective. So it's about us humbling down and coming back to the instructions that the Lord, our God, the God of our forefathers, had us to follow. And in doing so and in, in becoming a righteous people again, It'll get to a point where it'll be in us to where we won't even need to teach somebody. And at that point, we'll have rulership, we'll have our sovereignty, we'll have the things that we've been taken and we've been alienated from. Right? So that's the point of us coming out here and teaching is to actually get to that goal. So we get, we got a flyer for this, but we got a flyer for you. You're gonna take a flyer, brother? So we get this brother a flyer. Brother right here, boy. Brother right here with the beard. He already got his beard. He already got his, he got that beard you have, you have for him. Definitely, brother. Appreciate you, King. All praise to the most high. Oh, vegan. Ain't nothing wrong with being vegan. Ain't nothing wrong with being vegan, but you can't force it on everybody. No, man. Right. This looks like a video game. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like a video game. Uh -huh. What's going on, brother? You familiar with this information? All oh, praise to the most high, man. You see, hey, it's time, it's time to repent. Come back here. You got to be on this side, brother. All uh -huh. oh, praise to the most high, dude. All oh, praise to the most high. What's going on? Where we do me? I just about your Espanol. Hold on. Where the brother at? My brother right here. Brother Espanol, real quick. I'm gonna have somebody speak Espanol. Can I keep? Can I keep up? Can I keep up? Can I keep up?
Sure, if you believe it because you haven't like examined it or are you like skeptical about it? You haven't examined it, right? You educated in school. Okay, good. So you wanna you wanna re-examine it from a educated way so to speak. I understand that fully. So now here's what here's what I want to show you, right? The reason I even asked the first question. Moses. What did Moses do to the Israel for the Israelites? You remember? Come on. Come on, they made a rugrats movie about it. Huh? What did they did? Let my people go. He took them to prison. He walked them to prison. Right? Come on, right? He got them out of slavery, right? Now, this is some original quote that Moses is telling the children of Israel right after he brought them out of slavery, right? 2868. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. No, what? No. No, what? You don't remember? No, I'm going to read this quote. But he brought him out into the Exodus into a wilderness, right? I'm going to give you just a quick refresher, right? And this is something that he told them after he brought them out. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, uh -huh. chapter 28, verse 68. You know what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now I said, the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again, right? What were they doing in Egypt previously? In slavery. He says, the Lord shall bring them into Egypt again. But watch this. Read. With ship. With what? With ship. He said he's going to bring them to Egypt with ship. Right? That's interesting, right? Because they walked into Egypt and they walked out of Egypt. But now they're going to go into Egypt. Oh, so hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to her. Why are you doing that? She's engaged in the conversation. Hold on, though. Let me, let me finish the verse. You don't see that? You're going to let the dad see that? That's the problem. See? That's the problem. That's the problem. Right there. You see what I'm saying? She wanted to run because she knew it was wrong. They know her mother's Jamaican, so she knows it's wrong to be a bat again. So here she is playing the game with the devil. Here I am being as delicate as I can trying to reach this sister without offending. Okay, without just saying, what are you doing with the devil? Trying to be delicate. What happens? The devil still can blow some away. Right. Our people are, 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 are so messed up in the damn head is nuts. Right. All right. Right. Go ahead. Give me that, uh, priest. The book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 15. Uh -huh. And these are there by the wayside. Uh -huh. When the word is sown. When the word is sown, we sold the word. Read on. But when they have heard, uh -huh. Satan cometh immediately. Now, what, 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 what was that damn dike? Satan, Satan cometh immediately. immediately. Not time. That's what that was. Came immediately. Read. I take it away the word. Uh -huh. So we sold in our heart. That's right. When we were sowing the word, she was engaged, but she just let Satan grab her and wills her away. That's madness, man. Go ahead, priest. Fine. Okay. All praise to the most high. Right? Where we at? Four. Let's go back to uh, 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 Jeremiah now. Right. You so-called black Hispanic community, man. It's high time you come back to your nationality that you are the Israelites. You need to repent and come back to the laws that you commanded to the Most High God. Right. 
That's what time it is so called black and Hispanic. Read. Something that I just said. You know? I don't want like to see everyone in favor. Uh huh. I want to speak the truth. They have brought their tongue to speak lies. You see that? We speak the truth. Everyone out here trying to make something to speak lies. Right? But the truth is still going to be declared as it's commanded by the most high. We on? And we will accept the truth and be free. Uh huh. The inhabitation and the Mississippi. We on? To the sea. They refuse to know me. Uh huh. Go ahead. Say the Lord. See, through the sea, our people refuse to know the Most High God. We would rather cleave on the lies rather than the sea. Right. right? That's what's wrong with our people right now. The love of lies over the truth. That's madness, man. We on? Verse seven. Don't proceed, the Lord of hosts. Uh huh. Behold, I will melt them. I will what? I will melt them. I will melt. You gotta understand something. One day, just like in the days of Noah, you're going to think it's all good. You're going to be partying, eating, drinking, and being merry. And guess what? The Lord is going to come. But this time, he ain't coming with water. He promised. Every time you see that rainbow, you understand that there was a promise that God made. He would not destroy the world with water again. You know what he's doing this time? Fire. He will melt them. Read. Verse 6. That habitation. And then a mix of the sea. We do To the sea. They refuse to know me, uh -huh. says the Lord. We do Then proceed the most high of hosts. Uh-huh. Behold, I will melt this. I will what? I will melt this. God is going to melt you if you don't repent, man. What's up, sister? Oh, you, I see you have a question. You said, what's happening here? Let's see. Y'all heard about the Israelites before? What do you think about that? Do you, if you heard about the Israelites, then you would know that you were Israelite, right? Definitely, right? Okay, so when are you going to start living the lifestyle of an Israelite? This ain't the Israelite lifestyle. We, we here to talk to you. Because we don't want you out running the streets late at night. That's not good for you. It's not safe. Sister, it's not safe. Come on, hold on, man. Come on. It's safe. Hold on, sister. You're right here. My sister right here, right? Every day. You know what I share every day on Facebook, and it kills me every day? Missing black women. Every day, epidemic levels of missing black women. Hold on. Do, I, do we see that all day on Facebook now? It made me want to cry every day. I'm like, I'm sick of sharing this stuff. But I have to. I'm going to, right? But see, how are so many sisters going missing? You can have a taser, a nigga still creep up on you. A nigga still creep up on you, and then what? See, my thing is, minimize the opportunity of a predator getting you. That's my thing, right? No, no, uh, listen, I'm saying you need to do, you need to make safe decisions. Yes, yes, you shouldn't go, you shouldn't go out at night. You shouldn't go out at night, sister. You shouldn't go out at night. You shouldn't go out at night. You shouldn't go out at night, sister. It's not safe. You're right, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to worry. You're right, you're right. You guys shouldn't have to worry, but you do. It's just, the, it's just reality, you have to worry. Right? No, listen, trust me, trust me. We're, look, we're, look, we're looking for them niggas, trust me. Don't even worry about that. We, we looking for them niggas, all right? Y'all be safe out here, man, and start living the lifestyle. A lot of our people, give me the book of James again. We will close out on the book of James again, because a lot of our people have heard. All right, but I'm sick of seeing so-called uh, black women go missing every day, man. All right, but but what if black women got to start making taking the necessary precautions to not be victims of these types of crimes? It's that simple, right? And events like these are hotbeds for damn child traffickers. I mean, not child, human traffickers. All that madness, man. Right? And y'all don't realize who's really setting up all these kidnappers in the first place and that whole agenda, right? Our people need to start really paying attention to what's going on. You look astonished, man. Right? Read that. The book of James, uh -huh. chapter 1, verse 22. We on? Be doers of the word. That's what time it is. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, it's now time that we be doers of the word, that we actually do the word, that we actually follow the word of the Most High God. Be ye doers of the word. We on? And that hears only. Don't just hear it. Don't just listen to the word. Do it. Apply it to your life. That's Live right. the law, statutes, and commandments and have the faith just like the Most High God has commanded you. Right. All right? With that, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High God, Yahweh. We're going to do so in the name of His only begotten Son. And I'm going to pass it off to the next dynamic speaker. Okay, actually, we're going to close out. Take us out. Okay, all praise Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom. Shalom. 
Shalom, what's going on? It's your brother, Chief Priest Allah Zabon Lawyer, a.k.a. the Gorilla Hebrew. And I'm just letting y'all know, I just dropped my official clothing line, Urban Gorilla. Go to UrbanGorilla.com right now to check us out, man, and pick something up. That's U-R-B-N-G-R-L-A.com. We got all kind of items for men, women, children, even infants, as well as fragrance oil, smell goods. You can also check out Hebrew Israelite Clothing Co., another Sakari business on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, you can hit up DeaconSakari.com to get your plug on the scars, the music, and the children's Bibles. Thanks for your time. All praise to the Most High. Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.